What's going on guys? It's Josh here and today I'm going to talk about two pretty crazy trades I made this last week um, and how I turned $40 into $400 on one of them and also how I turned $40 as you guys are seeing here into like $200. Uh, today's Friday, the market closed. I might post this afterwards, but I messed up. I could have got like 300 bucks on the contract. That's what it went for, but I'm going to finally go over the play. I'm giving you guys the ticker. And that's my thank you for you guys subscribing. I will say this, though. If you guys want me to keep posting more of these, all I ask, you comment below, like the video, and even share it. You know, if I see that there's a bunch of eyes on this and that it's actually helping you guys and you're coming with me with questions, I'm more than happy to share this information. Now, I will start off by saying I played weeklies on these. One of them I even played a daily. Uh, it literally expired in one day. Now, getting into these is very, very difficult. So before you try it, I know you guys may be thinking, wow, 40 bucks into 400, $40 into two, 300 bucks here. It may seem like it's, you know, not that much money. It does add up over time if you mess up on these trades. So be careful. Always, always, always start paper trading. I saw a cool comment on a YouTube video. Someone was like, okay, well, I don't want to paper trade. You know, there's nothing beats getting out there. You need the real experience. Like you're never going to learn. It's a whole different environment. But the best way to put paper trading is that it is literally like a driving range for uh, golfing. You know, it's going to the driving range. That's the closest you're going to get. It is different than the game, but that's the closest you're going to get to actually hitting the ball and getting a feel for it. So please, 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 I hope you guys take my advice with that and be smart about this and get a hang of this because what I am going to share with you is, you know, I'm not going to give away my edge too much because what I'm going to tell these are hard and there was multi, there was a different reason behind these trades than just straight up. Okay. I found these and I did it. So we'll start here. First trade I made was Regeneron. I bought it yesterday, sold out today. You see, and that wasn't a day trade, even though it was technically one day, it wasn't same day. And from that, if you have a pattern date, you know, it doesn't fall under the pattern day trading. Now, why I did this trade, it was a hedge for the general market. I had some puts on something else and just the overall market. And, you know, I got the sell out of those. I was waiting to see the effect on the Chinese market uh, or the Chinese tariffs. And that is one thing I will tell you. That is something I'm looking for coming into Monday and the future. So keep your eye out on that. Now, what happened with this trade is why I did I select Regeneron? There's a couple reasons. One, on the base reason, it's a it, it doesn't move. It moves a lot. It's a low float. It's known for these big, crazy moves. And here's even, I have the IBB up. I'll pull it up. But during this whole downtrend, this last week or so, last two weeks, since kind of the 28th, biotechs have started to have been picking up the pace, whereas the market was kind of coming down. There's been a lot of news in the biotech industry. And some of these companies have been making moves and have been detached from the whole S&P. So that's why I kind of used it as a hedge. It had a great day today. Now, even going to Regeneron, when you even see Regen, it really hasn't been phased by the day before. It's been going straight up. So think about why I look towards this. The whole market was going down. I saw it as a good play. Now, I don't – and think about it. I bought it here. I didn't want it to you know, buy too high, but my play was this. Hey, market goes down. I'm protected with other puts. And if it goes up, it's probably going to go and try to break out to some other point. Now, that's not even technical. I don't even care about the technical. Really, when I bought the stock, um, I want, I don't know. I think I bought it. I think I bought it end of the day yesterday. Or I think I bought it around 360, you know. So in my mind, I was saying, hey, regen to move $7 in one day when it's already, you know, it'll move $10 in one day easily. It didn't move that much. I saw it at a good price. So the strike price I got, I didn't go too far out of the money. I think I, I went like one space out of the money. But why I got it, because it was saying, hey, $7, even though I only had one day of time, which was the kicker. And my logic behind this was I was going to lose. I didn't care. So it was a good trade in the sense that it was cheap enough where I could have taken that risk. And it was very likely for Regen to move, in this case, uh, you know, $8 in one day. I think I needed it to move about 7 or 6 which is just under 2%, which is a decent amount. So... It, it all depends and oh wait is my i think it's i have a webinar here at 5 30 and that's something too if you guys ever want to join I, I need to make this text real quick but 
uh, if you guys ever want to join the webinar, uh, we're having them every now and then for real estate, usually on Fridays, but let me know, or just go to ttfrealestate.com and below, and when you guys could see what we're doing with that. But back to the main topic of this. So like I was saying, I got it for that reason. And now also two days before what made regen a good play and what kind of, you know, gave this whole thing going on here. Let's, if we look back at the one month, what's been making it go straight up, I believe on the second. So around here, uh, and you could see they're moving up days before, they actually announced that they were going to increase the price of one of their most infamous uh, drugs, as well as another company, Sanofi. And it was an eczema drug, and they're going to raise the price. So again, you see my trades come, they fall in line with another fundamental aspect. So that's why I made the play. This is the, the play I made on it. Uh, that's the logic for the most part. Again, paper trade and see what's going on with there. Now, the next trade I made was on the SPX. And now this one, you guys are going to get more of an insight. I actually bought this one on the day before and they expired on the third. The, so SPX has plays that expire every about three days or every two days. Some even expired in the day. Now you could see kind of what I did. I spent $80 total. I lost 45 on the first trade. As you see, it expired. But now what happened here? Why did I make this trade? Because I was looking, I got the 267 put and the 2715. So on the third or the second, I saying, hey, if tomorrow I was expecting the market to come down, which it did coming into the day before 4th of July, and we saw the movements again, I was looking at the Chinese stuff, the tariffs coming in, and just overall emerging markets and what was going on. If you guys want a video about that and seeing how I'm kind of getting ahead of these moves, definitely comment below and let me know and we could go in depth, but it, it's kind of boring. But as you see, it could profit you. Now, what happened with this one is coming in, uh, why did I make this first trade? I spent more money because the contract had more time and it was a little bit further out. It was about maybe 50 points out of the money. And what, what I had said with my logic behind it was, hey, I wanted to set a place marker. This is me scaling in. So as you guys see, I threw down $40. If I was right and it dropped the next day, boom, I was going to make money. But that didn't happen. If we go to even the SPX and see what went down, um, let's see. Here's the SPX. So we'll go on this week. So maybe I should pull up. A, we'll pull up like a 10 minute chart. So here was the third, um, which one was it? 29, third, where was the, so this was the fifth. I don't know which day is actually. So today's the sixth, starting the sixth, starting the fifth, starting the third. So again, this is, and this is where I, I made the play on it because I bought here the day before it was coming down. And I said, okay, 40 bucks, it came up. I said, if the market goes down, and goes down to 2650, which is very, very low. 2670, still possible, but again, the market was there pretty much the day before. I said, if it goes back to that point, I'll make money off the $40. It didn't. Market went up and it bounced up in the morning with this gap up, killed all the premium. But then I saw that as my opportunity in the first couple minutes of the market or the first like 30 minutes, first hour or so. I was waiting. I let the time premium wear off. And those contracts got extremely cheap. And now when those contracts got cheap, it made these two 715s come to 20 bucks a pop. And then when I go to look at them, it's literally, it was saying, you know, the market was at 30. It had to just drop down 15 points. And eventually it dropped down almost 20 points, which was, again, that we're talking not even half a percent movement on the market. I just got those contracts really cheap because it gapped down or gapped up one day of time and it was a fairly large move and again the market was kind of up and stagnant but i saw the weakness i that news on china came out with micron and the ban on chinese you know china was banning certain th certain products so i was able to make my move and make my play and looking at this putting it in together that's why the contracts were so cheap i now use and I used my day before, I used this as a place marker to gauge how cheap those contracts were. So yeah, I lost 40 bucks, but now I was able to see, hey, if I spent 40 bucks yesterday for a 1% move, now I could get a quarter percent move for half the price. I bought two contracts and sure enough, well, they went down. I sold one for 274. And then the other one, I actually let this one, I held it. And I actually didn't realize the market closed early that day. 
and it closed early. I got exercised and it was it settled as cash because it was option, but I cashed out. And that's how I was able to go pretty much, you know, comes out to what, $399, actually $400 flat. And that's even after the commission. So, and then I lost here. So I pretty much came away with $350 and it wasn't too bad off a $40 investment. Uh, and that's after minusing my first place marker too. So even then it's a decent trade. I honestly didn't like it. I thought I could have done a little bit better. I, I should have went a little bit heavier on it, but not really just because the chance of it expiring in one day. And then that's the thing. You guys see the money. You see what's being made. Hopefully you understand this is a pure gambler. Gamble. I'm, I'm a professional gambler at this point. You know, that is a gamble. You got to know how to hedge it and understand how much money I put, you know, making sure the risk reward and options are in my favor. And it was for that reason. You know, at one point I went $5 in the money almost and I didn't sell out the contract fast enough. That's why I only walked away with 280 on the close. At one point I, I could have got a lot more but that is the gamble. And you guys even saw that with my Regeneron play. I told you the stock was at, you know, one of the last trades was at 300. I sold it for 225. I could have made another 100 bucks. And, you know, that's a great percentage gain. But here's the thing. And, you know, I know Daniel, shout out Demon Doza. You know, he asked this on the question, you know, what do I do? I'm going for these home runs. Don't. When you see the gain, you know, if you have more than one contract like I did with the SPX, you know, maybe you could do that. But in this case, you know, there was, it, it just didn't make sense. You know, I had the profit. The minute I started seeing it slip away because of implied volatility, and it was just a very, it's a very volatile play. I took my profit when I can. And then I let the other one ride. Sure. I'll let the other one ride. I could have made an extra hundred bucks. I don't care. I already secured 20 bucks to 280. I was happy. That's when you go for the home run. Hopefully you guys understand that. But on regen, I only had one of those contracts. I saw a gain on it. I saw my, I saw a great gain. I took it. I don't care if I leave 100, 200, 300, 400, 1,000 bucks on the table. Who gives a shit? At least I'm not losing money. And that is the key with these plays. If you want to try to play these plays again, that's why I say paper trade, paper trade, paper trade, paper trade. But then if you guys want to make these types of plays, you got to be quick. Whenever you see green, take it. And it's not, you know, and again, if I'm not taking, obviously, if I'm spending 20 bucks, and my commissions are $10 to get out, I'm not going for a 50% gain. So hopefully that makes sense, but it's small risk, high reward. And that is the key to it. So hopefully this guys helps you. <clears throat> and honestly, I'm willing to give away this, this play and let you guys know, because if you guys aren't doing this without the right training, you guys aren't paper trading and you aren't honing your skills, it's going to hurt you more than it's going to help you. So you will destroy yourself if you do not practice. So don't let the greed get to you and practice and reach out to me if you guys want help. I'm always willing to help again, too. If you guys are if you guys are part, you know, get into real estate, join my real estate brokerage. I'll gladly help you out and give you trades all day. If I know that you have a consistent source of income coming through real estate, there's my shameless plug. So but at the end of the day, I hope you guys like this. Hopefully it helped. Again, if you guys want more of these videos, help these videos get up there comment share it on your twitter share it on your instagram facebook everywhere and spread the word and i'll gladly share these with everybody so hopefully you guys understand the power of options hopefully this helps you out i love you all and stay in school let me know what you guys got for me